People in the United States don't see corn as a health food. How did this thing that started out as being just this amazing, beautiful food, how did it get so far off track? I was using corn to get to work, you know, my gas tank. There was no ingredient that could be better suited for, for repair than a food that is not even a food anymore. So one day out from Hacienda Bodega launch, how are you feeling? I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I had a two-week hiatus between jobs. I bought a ticket to Mexico, flew down, basically speed-dated farmers. The next step was to figure out how the hell to get them funds. No, nobody had bank accounts. Uh, how to get it across the border. And most importantly, how to, how to pay for it myself, because I, I didn't have any money. I was still working in a restaurant. Monsignor started, you know, buying surplus heirloom corn from smallholder farmers and bringing it to the early adopters. The minute I tasted that corn, I knew it was something very special. It ruined every other tortilla for me. Now the tortilla is the dish. The first time that we actually baked some, all these cooks that had been raised in Mexico just came straight to the griddle. And they said, oh, I haven't smelled that since I was back in Mexico. I haven't smelled that since I was a kid. Though we started with chefs, what I really wanted to do was to democratize that access and share that experience with as many people as possible. Let's do it. Not all tortillerias are created equal. And the ones that we really wanted to find were the folks who were being able to produce this in this authentic way. I had my doubts about making a tortilla without anything, you know, mm -hmm. just foam water and lime. Yeah. It's really hard. But then when you brought me the tortilla, I taste a flavor and it was like, this is a good flavor. We've got a truck literally arriving in Southern California tomorrow. How you doing, man? Thank you for getting here. We'll, we'll be picking that up with the distributor tomorrow and doing some runs around town, making our first deliveries. Seeing something on a grocery store shelf for the first time that took so long to produce and took so many conversations and so much coaxing, that feels innovative. But that's a moment. And to me, innovation is not about the moment. It's how do we build on it? It's, it's the sequence of events that lead up to some major milestone where every American is now eating this product and they're better for it. There are innovative moments, but the goal is that they build on one another until you have, you've really changed something.